Vasco. We must come what? to their aid. Vasco's already gone. Veil. The Spanish beasts huh. and weapons are more powerful than our warriors. Tabasco is lost. The Spanish armies are dangerous because of the beasts they ride into battle. If we could capture these enemies, then the Spanish would be know. much less of a threat. Defend the Rams. Get a terrible freaking pathfinding. This down center is the down. pen where we will corral the yeah, captured yeah. Spanish horses. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. That sounds done, and now they're giving up. Cool, cool. We win. <laughs> All right, so here comes Cortez now. Finally, I really could have sworn Cortez usually comes quicker than that. That's what she said. anymore. We're just taking up population, precious population. Oh yeah, there's some Our runners food down here. have confirmed that the Spanish and Tlaxcalans have formed an alliance against us. Now we Screw must do battle with them both. Yeah right. They're dead. Let's get these guys out of the way. Good job, Castle. I knew I could believe in you. Alright, I'm really just trying to get up here. These villagers. I want to knock down this mining camp so I can build my own. Like, well, I guess I can't build it there, so. It's the only place to do it. Before we do that, let's grab all these guys. I'm going to escort them up this way so we can build yet another castle at a good strategic location, like I was talking about earlier. And we need to repair that castle. Go forth, Jaguar Warriors! In the name of Montezuma, you will die! Goodbye! Jay? Really? You can be a little bitch and run away. Jay? Cool. Just suffer your fate. Alright, so can I build it? Yes, I can! Can he build it? Yes, he can! So yeah, we're basically just trying to get these 20 Spanish horses and return them to the pen, or we can destroy the Spanish. I'm probably not going to destroy the Spanish. I'm probably going to take their horses. Uh, we just have to run them down into this pen. Yeah, we got 20 of them alive. I can't remember if they have a navy or not. I don't think that they do. Come on. Bring it down. Bring it up. Uh -huh. Take that, galleon. A couple of villagers here just to defend. Run away! Come on, villagers. Stop getting stuck. God, you assholes! Run! And that's gonna stir up the hornet's nest a little bit. I really want to try to get these horses back safely, though, so I'm going to wait until they start falling. I'm trying to build something over there. Oh, 
So let's run these horses out of here. Oh, crap, I can't. They're stuck. There we go. Go, horsies. You're free. Except you're under my control, so you're not really free. I'm just gonna corral them over this way. Kill that guy. We do not want to be dealing with bombard cannons today. Run back. We'll just use this as a point of attack. Now we'll run these guys back down here. Just want to have a few Jaguar Warriors on standby in case something attacks my castle that it can't hit. Sometimes that's a problem. This will be nice. Continue getting some more upgrades. Here come my horses. It's actually a nice stash of them over on this side of the town. So that's probably where we're going to head to next. Not there. It's probably a bad spot. Well, I guess we'll hold off on a castle for now. I don't really think we need one. Actually, no. Let's get to the next age. That is something we really should be doing. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Already made good progress. Sufficient. And now we wait some more. I think now is a good time to speed up the gameplay. As I did in the previous episode. Probably not going to get attacked very much. Population. Mainly just a few to support some trebuchets. Just making sure those are the only idle villagers. Let's see, is there anything they, they can do? Ah, there's some stone. Number two in here? Yep, there is. We'll get both of these guys right up in here. Down another town center. And start mining. Lots of wood up here as well, we might be able to use. Alright, so we've advanced to the next age. So let's start getting some castle upgrades. Oh, we should be able to get, uh, might be able to get spies at some point. That'd be a nice upgrade, sappers. So then I can just go ahead and take this down really fast. Go, villagers! Look at how fast they move now, it's awesome. Go, go, go! I'm just gonna get an army of villagers. Just get them to take down all the buildings. Huh, just one lone gold miner. My village is dead, what do I do? You die now. Well, you're not worth my time. All 
Alright. I'm gonna start building trebuchets. My favorite weapon, pretty much, other than petards. Rotation. I don't think we can actually build hand cannoneers with this group. Oh, that's definitely a good one to have. We're just gonna have to what wait for it. And then we're going to come right up the coast here, and we're going to demolish them. Being attacked! Oh jeez. It's too far. Run up and hit him. Gotcha, bitch. Down you go. Now would actually probably be a pretty good time to start attacking. So we're going to run right up the coast. Yeah, take down my castle. It's okay, I can send one of these, send both of these guys over there to repair it. These guys here on defensive stance. Take out those. Come on, guys. Tell me you're stuck. I'm a trebuchet herder. I can't find my way around! Backing up. Can they hit it from here? That would be awesome. Yeah! That's what I'm looking for. Drop their gates. some siege weapons. Need to drop that castle. My castle's got to go. Luckily, I don't think they rebuild a lot of that stuff. So, once we take it down, it's gone for good. Come on, stay near it. We gotta defend. And they're coming for me, so I'm going to meet them in battle. It's like, there's not really much for them to destroy anyway. Except for my trebs. On back, Trebs. You did a good job. You got the castle. That's what we needed. Alright, so they're funneling through my choke point just as I had planned. Yeah, there, villager. There's about to be gratuitous amounts of bloodshed. Drop this first. I got just moonwalked. No, you don't. Bombard cannons are the most annoying things ever. Hit our population limit, so let's hit him again. Let's go up the coast here. 
all the horses we need are right around in here, but I'm trying to eliminate everything in my path first. So I can just swiftly run them down here and not risk losing them. Walk. 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 Say. What say you? No, 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 stop. Move up farther. You guys just take the brunt of the attack here. Run around while my trebs do the rest. Oh, yeah. Slaughtered. Shots. Back it up. Yeah, you can try. I'm just gonna run these guys around in here. Oh, my treads take it down in like one hit. Down you go! Get rid of that other tower. Back it up. Continue forth. Here we go, got some horses. You're free, my friends! Flee! Who's up there? Oh, it's my castle, never mind. Get him! Killed my villagers. How dare they? They don't really have much in the way of an army, though. At least not yet. Let's see. Grab these guys. Get them over here. It may actually be all the horses we need. Alright, I think we got them all. Run them right down over here. Just want to attract too much attention. We have captured ten Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal. Let's pull these guys back for a moment, because I think we may have enough. If not, we may be a couple short. Of course they would do that to me, you bastards. Nice. Good job. Keep distracting the armies. We're gonna have to run a little farther into the town, I guess. Let's see if I can manage here. 
because I think there's some, like, right there. I just gotta get up there and meet them. Then get them out of there. It's a covert operation. Stealth mode activated. Oh no, didn't work. We're being shot. Take that wall down as quickly as possible. Run, horses, you're free! Run! Freedom! Go, 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 go! For Montezuma! It's actually not too hard to, to kill Cortez as well, but I'm opting for the horse route. Now oh, they took my castle down. Oh well. We'll just send these guys in. Get in the town. We are about to beat this scenario. Get him! Look at you! Died a glorious death. I stole all your horses. Now that we have all of the Spanish horses, they will be unable to send their deadly knights and conquistadors into battle. We have defeated the Tlaxcalans and slowed the Spanish advance. But I fear the final confrontation is yet to come. Alright, so the level should end now. There it is. And we got an achievement. Although the Aztec warriors fought well that day, my men were frightened by the beast that the Spanish rode into combat and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with the Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I do not know if my uncle, Montezuma, was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods, but he sent more gifts to Cortes, along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortes on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man-made island in the middle of gigantic Lake Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream, the first glimpse of things never heard, seen or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortes at the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortes was mostly interested in gold ornaments and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Alright, so there is our statistics, and in the next level we'll be doing La Noche Triste, so I'll 